Hello, it is Dr. Abstract for What's Bubbling at Zimbibool. And in this bubbling, we're happy to announce Zim Shim for Adobe Animate. So let's go take a look. Here it is. It's at zimjs.com slash animate.html. Zim Shim for Adobe Animate. So it lets you code Zim right in Animate. Uh, and export that to HTML5 along with the CreateJS. And it's just a small little bit of code, so we'll go in and take a look at that. It's just that little bit of code that sits in there as well as a call to the library. There is a, a template right here, so you can grab that. That's a, a zip file, and we're going to take you through that zip file now. There's this video to watch, and you can come to Slack for help. There are some things to watch out for as well, so have a read over those, but we'll look at those as we go into the Adobe Animate. All right, here is Adobe Animate. If we downloaded that zip file, you would open up this flash file right here, and it's got some, it's got some Zim in it, as well as, uh, you know, the CreateJS stuff. Uh, there's a movie clip on the stage right there called Circle, so we're going to work with that. And let's publish this. Uh, that's uh, Control F12, or Control Shift F12, or Alt Shift F12, or whatever the heck it is. I just do it automatically. And then a Control Enter, and we'll view this in a browser. So here it is. And uh, this is a Zim slider and a Zim circle that's draggable. This one right here is that circle that we see on the stage. That's a movie clip. And we have uh, brought in the transform tool onto that as well. Isn't that nice? Now we can hide that. That's the movie clip being hidden. This is a Zim button. Here's a blob. And uh, there we are. And there we are adding points to the blob and, and so forth. So it's all ready to go. And uh, let's see what was involved in that then. First of all, it, with the example probably launches with the template in place. But what uh, you would want to do is download the zip. And along with that comes a Zim shim. Uh, we can take a look at that. Here is the zip right here. So a Zim shim uh, that looks like this. And it has in it a couple different places. One is the load to the Zim site or the Zim uh, script right here. Zim 10.3.0 and beyond supports this. Uh, you should try and keep that updated, and I suppose we will too as well. So if you download the zip, it will be the latest there. And then the shim is just this little bit right here. So that makes a Zim stage, which has uh, updated local to global, global to local, and local to local, that will work properly with the stage that gets scaled. So that's um, a Zim stage, which really uh, all it does is it um, extends the create JS stage so it's the same thing with a few uh, little extras we prepare all the way through when we use Zim frame outside of animate we have this thing called Zim default frame which allows us to say just uh, circle dot center and it knows which, where it should put it um, so we've we brought that in there to point that to the current stage you can work with multiple stages at which point you would have to with the circle dot center on another stage you would have to say that other stage otherwise it will take the default stage there's a couple of little things where we're enabling mouse over, we're enabling touch. And we like to work with stage width, stage height. So we put that in there, that's in all of our templates. So we're kind of used to that. And then we also like having bounds set on things. So there we are setting the stage's bounds. That allows us to center things on there nice and easily, etc. So that's it, that's the Zim Shim that prepares us. Uh, to import that, let's go back to animate here. To import that, you would open up your animate. You would, under uh, publish settings right here, under publish settings, you would choose advanced and import a new template. So let's try that now. We hit import. There's the Zim shim. Don't import the Zim file. That's the results of what we're testing. But there's the Zim shim right there. We say OK, and that's it, OK. So once again, publish settings, 
go into the advanced, import a new publishing template. And that template is pretty well the same thing, except it's got a call to Zim up top, and it's got that little shim stuff. So now here we are in Flash. You can see that we're bringing in Zim. Sorry if this is too small for you. I can make it bigger. Good. Uh, we're bringing in a new circle. That's a new Zim.circle. If you want to use a namespace, you can. Uh, a new Zim circle. We're centering it. We're setting drag. We're also uh, turning the on top to false so that it doesn't come up over top of the other things. Otherwise, things you drag usually come up to the top, but we specifically turn that off. There's the blob, etc. So all this stuff is Zim. We come on down to where we're working with movie clips. Now, a movie clip is a CreateJS movie clip, and it when we use local to global, global to local, and local to local on that CreateJS movie clip, uh, because Adobe Animate sta scales the stage when it exports, those values are actually off as far as we can tell. So we've adjusted them in Zim to work with a scaled stage, but Unfortunately, those methods on the on the Create Jazz movie clip or on the Adobe Animate movie clip are still the old ones. So uh, that means that our drag and transform and hit tests and things like that that rely on proper global to local and local to global, etc., uh, won't won't be quite right with traditional movie clips. So what we've done is we put the movie clip into a container and then we can. Uh, drag the container and transform the container, etc. And then those are aligned. So if there's ever a case where as you're dragging something in Zim, it doesn't seem like it's in sync, it's off by just a little bit, probably you're using the movie clip directly. You can Zimify the mo movie clip. There it is. That's us Zimifying the movie clip that adds all of the methods, including things like drag. So we could work, we could do that. We could say uh, from now on this dot circle dot drag, except it would be off. It would be moving a little bit incorrectly. <laughs> so instead of, of that, what we've done is made a new container. That's a Zim container. Here's the Zimified circle. We've set a bounds on that as well. Bounds are handy to have. And so be careful when you set your bounds. You can dot outline that right after if you want, or dot .outline. Uh, maybe not right here on the next line. You can say this dot circle dot .outline and it will show you what the bounds are. So that could be handy for you to see. But here's a second circle that we're making then is this new container. And then we're adding this dot .circle. We're centering it on that new container. So now what it is is the traditional movie clip uh, inside of a Zim container. And from then on, as it says here, and there's the description of all of this here, as it says here, you can do things to it. So circle dot transform. And there we are. Uh, cash false. It's kind of neat. I don't know if you noticed that. If we take that off, let's take that off and publish it. F2. And uh, bring that up in a... again. So here now, uh, can you tell? Let's increase that. The cursor here is not, it's um, cached, uh, or sorry, it is cached, and so that means when it scales up, because this, this scale is only, I don't know, 500 by 400 or something, or whatever the default is, uh, when it's scaled up, it looks pretty crummy, where everything else, all the vector things are quite sharp. So if you're planning on doing this much scaling, then you'll want it to look like, uh, I don't know if this one had it. Yeah, that's sharp. This is the old way where, we, where we're where we not caching the, the cursors there. You can see how sharp that cursor is. So that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is Zim Shim here at, um, at Zim, zimjs.com. And you can look for it in the, I think we'll put a little ad banner here, but uh, the address on the end of that is slash animate html uh, like so this will also be available in the code section i think we've just updated the code section so it's got a banner that looks like this so you can grab all of that when you need it i am dr abstract for what's bubbling at zim and uh it's excellent coding uh, inside of adobe animate join us at zimjs.com slash slack 
and uh, we've got a special animate channel that you can talk about anything that's going on in there and see some examples and, and so forth. Uh, ciao! Have a great day or night! Bye!